All right, y'all. So this is actually my favorite bank right here, Banco Popular, only because there's so many of them available across the yard. All right, so they gave me all the crisp five hundreds, and I wanted to show you guys how I get cash down in the Dominican Republic as far as like what ATM machine I use, you know, uh, which rate I, I choose. So let's check it out because I see a lot of people when they come to Dominican Republic, they stand at the ATM machine for like 15, 20 minutes holding up the whole line. And it's really simple. I get cash out of ATM machines all the time. So let's go to the bank. So as you can see, I just stopped and grabbed me a fresh coconut. And one thing I like that they do down here at these little coconut carts is they uh, they give you a cup with ice. Cause don't get me wrong, man. Coconut water is cool when it's fresh, but it tastes even better with ice. Also, coconut is a really good way to stay hydrated down here because you will sweat. But this time of the year, it's not that bad though. credit card to get the money out. I highly recommend Navy Federal from my favorite banks. So I always get it in their money. So I don't have to worry about paying like extra fees and stuff like that. So see that? That's the exchange rate right now. So continue in Dominican pesos. All right, so they gave me all the crisp 500s. Usually I'll count it, but I got somebody behind me and I'm recording. So ah, make sure you get your receipt. All right, and we out of here. Another thing, when you're getting cash, make sure you try to get it in as small, as small denominations as possible. Cause one little Dominican trick they like to play out here is they like to say they don't have any change, and so then you're forced to tip them more than you really wanted to tip them. Um, what else did they? What else that happens? Oh, and then you know a lot of things you're going to pay for are going to be. 100 pesos 200 pesos 300 pesos so it's just good to have change because if you have all your bills and 1000 pesos you're going to get a lot of that you know i don't have any change i don't have any change and you know that's how you end up paying more for stuff you shouldn't pay more for also i'm in a pretty safe and familiar part of the dominican republic i would not recommend you record yourself while getting out money because you should be watching your back in your sides just like you would any other atm machine but no i actually found this atm machine at a gas station so gas stations are really good spots to go to to get cash in dominican republic um make sure you do things like uh call your bank make sure your bank knows that you're out here um put a withdrawal limit on your bank because you don't want someone to, to steal your card because they do they do credit card fraud down here they do credit card fraud down here. So you want nobody to get your credit card numbers and start taking out too much money. So make sure you have like a $500 limit on your ATM, you know, withdrawals. 
if you need to get more you could just western union yourself some money down here i honestly don't recommend western union because it's pretty expensive but anytime i needed to get money down here whether it was to somebody else or it was for me i was able to get it down here pretty easily you just have to make sure you use a a, a vpn if you're going to use a western union i use a hotspot shield but there's a lot of um, other VPNs out you can use. Another thing I recommend doing when you're dealing with uh, Dominican pesos is that you um, you put the money in like plastic bags. I would say get rubber bands, but I, but plastic bags because it prevents it from getting damaged and stuff like that. Because one difference between the bills now here and the bills back in the States is that if that bill is damaged, they're not taking it. And it's really easy to damage some of their bills because I feel like they're not billed as sturdy as American notes. So I would definitely say maybe get a little Ziploc bag for your uh, for your bigger bills for like 500 pesos, 1,000 pesos, 2,000 peso on notes. And then I would say for the more smaller notes, like 50 pesos, 100 pesos, 200 pesos, keep that in a separate Ziploc bag. Because even with the colors, it's just really easy to make a mistake and give somebody, let's say, a thousand pesos, which is about twenty dollars, when you really only meant to give them a hundred pesos, which is, which is about two dollars. And I made that mistake plenty of times, and I made that mistake before when um, I reached into my pocket to get my phone, and one of my little, you know, pesos fell out my pocket. They call it Monopoly money down here because it's so colorful and it feels so flimsy. But don't get it fucked up. Those pesos is worth money down here. <laughs> so definitely secure that bag. Also, too, opening up a bank account down here is really simple. Only thing you need is your passport and your visa has to be valid. So if they gave you a visa for 30 days. You had to be within that 30 days. If they gave you a visa for 90 days. If you have to go open up that bank account within that 90 days. But um, they usually have English speakers, you know, I didn't really have any issues with that. They had English speakers at the bank. So I opened up a bank account at Banco Santa Cruz because I feel like they're like the easiest and the fastest. But as far as getting money out and having a lot of locations, definitely Banco Popular. Um, another thing you can do if you plan on being in the Dominican Republic for a long period of time and you feel like you're going to need a lot of cash, you can open up a bank account down here and you can wire yourself money down here. You know, it's pretty simple um, with most banks, like Bank Bank of America, Navy Federal, it's pretty simple to wire money. Or you can use um, a website called uh, Wise. It used to be called uh, TransferWise, but you can use Wise and you can actually wire money through Wise. Like no matter what bank you have, you can use Wise as like that uh, middleman to get the money directly in your bank account. But honestly, I don't really spend that much down here. Um, my rent, the owner is from the America or has family in America, so I'm able to cash at him for my rent. Um, as far as like transportation, I live in Santa Domingo now, which is the capital, and Uber is just amazing down here. So I'm not really paying for cash for uh, taxis. Um, Grocery stores, same thing. They take card. Um, like Uber Eats, take card. The only time I'm really like using cash is when I'm paying like the cleaning lady or I'm giving somebody at the front desk a tip. Yeah, usually like tips. Um, maybe I'm trying to buy something off somebody on a, on a beach or on the street or something like that, but um, where I'm at right now is very card friendly, so I never really need cash that much. The only thing about using card down here is they charge you uh, foreign exchange fees and stuff like that. So uh, just be careful on, you know, how much your bank charges you because all banks charge different amounts for that foreign exchange fee. But you're, you're going to end up paying fees regardless whether, you know, you're using Bitcoin or, you know, you get cash out down here, or you're paying some with card, you're going to accrue some fees. You just have to do what makes sense. You know, I always would say keep at least, I would say keep at least 20,000 pesos on you at any given time. 20,000 pesos is about, I'll say maybe 400 bucks 
And even though it might seem like a lot of money, 20,000 pesos can go far down here depending on what you're doing. But uh, yeah, that's that's usually what I do because that's the amount that I can take out at Banco, Banco Popular.